Yeah, I don't try to be tough. It's just when you are exposed to certain things, it affects your development as a human being. I was very, very sweet and innocent as a child and things happened that made me very afraid and I never liked being afraid. I refused to be afraid. I was six, seven years old. There was this older veteran who lived in the complex. He used to sit outside and smoke cigarettes and listen to music and drink and like clean his pistols. We used to like go steal his cigarette butts out of his ashtray and go smoke them on the playground. And one day me and my friend, we were stealing some of the cigarette butts and we saw that there was a gun sitting on the bricks. And so my friend dared me. He's like, I dare you grab the gun. And I went to grab it. It was so heavy and I was so young. I couldn't lift it. It dragged off the bricks and fell to the ground. I had to pick it up with both hands like it was a hammer. Right then the old man kicked open the door. I dropped the gun and we started running and he picked it up and he cocked it and he said, stop right now or I swear to God, I'll shoot you. We stopped, we put our hands up. He said, lay on the ground right now. We lay on the ground and he comes up and he's standing over me. And he said, you wanna know what happens when you play with guns, little boy? And he put the gun to my head and he pulled the trigger and it went click. And he said, now go home and don't ever let me catch you around here again. I didn't leave my room for like four or five days. I couldn't stop crying. The first time that I ever hurt somebody significantly, it made me feel strong, it made me feel powerful. I was a very, very young child and it instilled this level of confidence in me. Oh, I can take care of myself. It'll be in my brain for the rest of my life. You know, I get in fights at high school. I was a piece of shit, I was an asshole. Well, I would say I was a hothead up until about like 18, 19. And I decided that uh, my situation might have been affected by the way that I acted. I started doing social experiments where I would dress differently, where I would act differently and I would pay very close attention to how I would be treated and how I would be spoken to and I came to the conclusion that walking around looking like you smelt shit all day is gonna bring you more problems than smiling and I thought everybody fought that's yeah. why I was always like yo who want it the older I get the more that I find out like that's not really how it goes I'm not a hard person I'm not an asshole certain times when I go to job interviews who are very confident in the way that I speak and present myself before they see me in person they can't even look me in the face because of the tattoos because of like the just the way that I carry myself and they look at me and they instantly Instantly think, hard-headed, gonna give me problems. They're looking for somebody who's gonna do what they're told. They don't wanna deal with somebody like me, somebody who's actually gonna have an opinion, somebody who's gonna actually have ideas. I don't take abuse from anybody. Yeah. I've been too many people's whipping boy in my life. I was working at Starbucks and there was more than one occasion where I literally would have to tell them, hey, this apron in this counter is not a magical force field. I can come around this corner and we can talk man to man if you really want it to be like that. Like I would use that line all the time, like at least once a week. The level of bullshit that I'm willing to tolerate is maybe a lot less than the average person. Now the average person who walks through a crosswalk and almost gets hit by a car, they're gonna be like, oh, it was an accident, okay. If you almost commit vehicular manslaughter because you're not paying attention, that's not an accident, that's negligence. You're threatening my life, I'm gonna defend my life. I take it personally. Now, if you're quick to apologize, then I'll be like, it's all good, just be careful, have a good day. But the second somebody acts like it's not a problem and it's my fault for simply being a human being in the way, that's when that negligence becomes the intention to do harm. Nine times out of 10, I can't let that go. And the reason for that is, is because not everybody has the ability to defend themselves the way that I do. I've seen old women hit in the street and that old woman doesn't have the ability to be like, hey, slow the fuck down because that person will get out and probably assault that person. That person's not gonna act that way with me, not even for a second.